Hey everybody, welcome back to Art La Carte and episode 10, the real episode 10, not episode 9. Uh, last week I tried to make episode 9 be episode 10, but you guys reminded me that I skipped it, so this is officially episode 10 of the 100 character drawing challenge. Every week I post five new characters that are designed and at the end of the video you can just choose which character you think is the best or that you like the best and I get to create a companion piece for that. So either a pet or something that goes along with them that is character based. If you've missed out on any of those videos, make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video so you can go back and watch them all. Also at the end of this video is a big announcement because something fun is coming up along with the 100 character drawing challenge. So make sure to watch all the way to the end so you don't miss out on that announcement. The first character that I'm drawing is kind of this tribal character. I really like the design and actually had more fun designing the character than coming up with the backstory. For those of you who know me, I like to have backstories to my characters. But for these guys, which are the Branchars, obviously I didn't have really great naming abilities this morning either. <laughs> but uh, I didn't have an idea for their characters. So no backstory. And I thought, why don't I ask you guys? So in the comment section below, if you have any ideas about these characters, their backstories, this character in particular, she doesn't have a name yet, so you could give her a name. What's their story? Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? Are they elusive? Are they friendly? Are they warriors? Are they creators? Or what are they? Let me know. Comment section below. Moving on to character number two of today's challenge. I really had a fun time with the Skellargs. Skellargs? Skellargs. I can't remember the names of my own characters. Anyway, they did not win last week. The the Termors won, but the Skellargs, Skellargs whatever they are, were kind of like this bug-like creature. And I had fun designing them, and I wanted to try to design another bug-like creature. So I came up with the Filigs. And the Filigs are based off of those beetles with the really big horn pincher things. Um, so yeah, I kind of designed that character. I wanted to make them a little bit m mysterious as well, but I didn't want to give them a full face mask. So you can kind of see their little white beady eyes blinking in behind their mask. Again, I don't know a lot about this group, which is possibly like a cousin to the Skilligs, but I really am enjoying creating like Bug-like creatures is kind of crazy. Moving on from bug-like creatures to super cute-like creatures, I decided to make little wolf sprites. So these little guys are tiny little fairy people that are very meek and mild um, and would have been wiped off of the face of the earth because they have no ability to protect themselves except a mother wolf has kind of adopted this tribe of, of uh, fairy sprites and claim them as her her babies and protects them. And so they all claim to be the wolf sprite. Yeah, and they're they're pretty cute. Because the mother wolf has adopted them, she has gained a little bit of magical powers from them. So might be kind of a fun character to learn a little bit more about. Side so note, totally massacred spelling sprite this morning. My brain was not working, but don't worry, I fixed it. Going from super cute, let's push ourselves to be not so cute. I decided I wanted to draw a kind of troll-like creature, um, but not big and bulky. I wanted like a, like a little gremlin troll-like creature. And so I just worked with different shapes and threw in fangs and horns and spikes and, and all that and came up with the trogs. So the trog group is known for being very mischievous and causing a lot of trouble. You don't want to get on the bad sides of trogs. But recently, they have received a new queen who is demanding of them much more manners and dignity. So they are, to their best of their ability, trying to turn over a new leaf and being more genteel and kind and helpful. I don't think it's going to go well for them, but they're trying. And the last character I'm going to design today is based off the character that went last week's. So those were the Trumors. The Trumor is an elitist group of fairies who raise these magnificent birds that have beautiful plumage, and they make all sorts of things out of these birds. Now, I decided to create these birds to be slightly related to the phoenix, so they don't burst into flames, but other 
amazing things might happen to these birds. These birds are called morils. And yeah, I haven't exactly decided what happens with them, but they definitely are magical. Their feathers are magical. What magical properties they have yet, haven't quite figured that part out. The design of the feathers, I wanted to be very pearlescent, meaning they would kind of have a bit of a colorful shine and translucentness to them. Very hard to accomplish that on a very small piece of paper and brown paper at that, but I think I got a good design down for them. So now comes the point of the video where you guys get to vote on which character you think should win this challenge. So up in the top corner, there's going to be a small eye icon. Sometimes you have to move your mouse around or tap the screen to see it, and you get to vote on which character you like the best. But next week is the exciting one, which is going to be the second semi-finalist. So we have four semi-finalists. We've had the first one already, which Rose and Puck won that round. And now next week, I won't have a, an original drawing set. We'll just quickly review all the characters from that round. And you guys get to vote on the which of the five winners that have won so far, which of those five then get to move on to the semi-finalists. So super excited about that. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out any future videos. You can also hit that notification bell. And as always, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.